Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlink here and we're off for more Banjo-Kazooie and in the last episode we finished off some of Click Clockwood and we're basically halfway through the level now. I mean in Jiggies at least. Technically not in Notes but a lot of them are in Autumn and well we haven't got any of the empty honeycombs but that won't be for a little bit more later on. So far we're doing a season per episode and that's because you know we're not backtracking climbing up and all that. Takes a bit of time uh, even if I'm cutting that out or not but we've been in the level for just over an hour. Takes it out of you. And we've only got 10 more Mumbo Tokens left in the entire game, 5 in each season. So let's head on onwards to Autumn. So Mumbo wasn't available in... Actually, there's a lot of health here. Do I need health? Kind of, actually. You know what, we'll take some of that before we actually enter. But yeah, we bumped into Mumbo and he was too hot and he wasn't doing anything. Maybe he'll be available in Autumn. Who knows? Got a bunch of dragonflies here, that could be a problem. Actually, they'll give us more health. I right, took one out. I'd rather take these guys out than deal with them later. Oh, I got hit anyway. That's just perfection. Also, we're at max lives in this entire level alone. We started on a new load, so we had three upon entry. We got nine, and that's by even dying once in spring. I think you spend a lot more time in spring, honestly. But we still got to scour the entire level, which is kind of a problem. Also, I feel like I'm repeating myself now. Better get many more caterpillars. Need ten this time. I think uh, all the uh, bugs that we had in the previous one do not count over. Also, there are leaves literally everywhere. And also, this uh, bear snare, once again as a mumbo token, but we already collected that one. Actually, we didn't. That's a completely new one. So, go figure that one out. Uh, we may not be able to become a bee again, so I'm just going to have to diddly -diddly 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 grab it. Oh god, he's bouncing. I missed it! Oh yeah, I got it that time. We're running out of gold feathers. <laughs> uh, unless we become a bee, there's pretty much no other way on getting them. Oh no, the worms that we did have do carry over. Oh, that's helpful. Doesn't matter if we get them all anyway. Once we get the jiggy, I think the rest of them despawn, so that's fine. Just overflow so you don't have to grab every single one in the area you're in. Because last time we were at five. Brambles are still here, though, which is a little bit annoying. You have one note. Well, we're near Mumbo's, so you know what? I'm not going to bother with you. We have Mumbo's first. First. Oh, the leaves are starting to wilt, so the platforms are now not the smallest, but getting smaller than what they were. Take you out. Unfortunately, that note was on the energy, so I couldn't really do anything about that. Um, unfortunately having to grab them both. That bear snare is still on that flight pad, but that flight pad is there. Ah, well. That didn't work out well, did it? But how did I miss? That was expert dodging from not being able to move. Oh my god, this dude is outplaying me so hard. What the flip, man? He's almost killed me single-handedly. I just couldn't pick him. Well, I need this health now, most definitely. This level's kicking my bottom just as much as Rusty Bucket Bay. Only problem is, obviously, we died a lot more because of the one-hit kill pit in the engine room. Right, let's not get that one for the moment. There we are. Okay, we're semi-healthy again. Not ideal at all. Right, let's go back this way because we were kind of going the other way. No. Actually, you know what? No. That guy deserves a piece of my mind. Or piece of Kazooie's mind, shall I say. And give him a pecking order. Can I egg you? Oh, well, it would have helped if they didn't bounce all the way down the slope. There we go! Got him that time. That was amazingly bad. Actually, since we're here right now, let's hop into the water here. Is there anything on this side? Diving underwater is technically a little bit faster than f uh, flip flapping all the, all the time. Flip flapping? That's the backflip. But we can now enter the beaver's house because it is submerged. So we should be able to get past that very steep slope that we couldn't talent try up. Let's do that real quick. Because then we can get our prize that we should have got in summer. Aha! Hello! It's been three months, but I am here! Oh, here you are at last. I've been waiting. Mumps to give you this. Oh, I'm just jumping to get through the text a little bit quicker because it does scroll a bit too slow. 
There we are. We got another Jiggy and a couple of notes. And no, you can't grab it in uh, summer, even if you do somehow manage to get in. In fact, the, this area is not even rented on the first two seasons. So, because you're not supposed to be able to get in. Uh, can we get on the bed, please? Okay. Only two notes. Actually, there's an extra life in the fire there. Can we sneak behind? Ha ha! Like that we needed them, although our lives do go beyond nine, as I've mentioned before. So even if we start dying now, we're probably going to be having a surplus. Before I leave, let's have a little quick look around. Looks like we are good. Remember, as I said, other than autumn, that we do have um, uh, 60 notes per season. But that means if we uh, grab everything in autumn, we should be 60 notes down from the max. So that's how you will know if you actually have them all. Although they are pretty spread out. I mean, to be fair, this is kind of like what um, a world of Banjo-Tooie feels like, because the uh, collectibles are spread quite far. But at the same time, you're going through the same level multiple times. Kind of like a beta about uh, Donkey Kong 64 as well, because like, you have the same levels. I mean, imagine if it, like all four worlds of the collectible, uh, versions of the world's collectibles were all in like loaded at once. It would actually make the level feel pretty packed. So, it's kind of like that in a way. Yobi, you're still here. Guess what? You're going to give this thing more water. Do, do, do. Love that noise. Ha ha! It's sprouted! And there's a jiggy! Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. Lava world? A lava world? Well, we will have to probably find that out in Banjo-Tooie, because this is the last world of this game. There is no lava world. Not yet, at least. Already they were trying to sequel bait us. You're not getting me by coming up here. There are three notes in that one. I'm gonna need to get that. Not passing that up. Oh, wrong one. There we go, that's the one. Right, jump into him. Jump. Oh. There we are. Right, get out of it. We're running low on golden feathers. We need to start stocking up on those. Also, don't want to deal with you, so I'm just going to egg you. And miss every shot, despite him being absolutely massive. Makes sense to me. Wow, that was the last one I needed to do. Right, let me get up here just to get out of the way for a moment. Oh wow, he got up really quick. Never mind, that's just wasting eggs. Oh, you've got... you've Ah, no! Don't fall! Thank oh God! <laughs> Somehow I was able to walk for a moment, but then I continued to slip. I don't know how that happened. Right, get rid of you. Really wanted the... Oh, I can stand here, but not where... Okay, that's weird. Floor being a bit inconsistent with its slopes and inclines there for a moment. <laughs> I could walk in some points, but not in others. Right, take you out. I don't think I need ex uh, any more health right now. What I was saying was, we're going to go see Mumbo, because every time I try to say I'm going to go see Mumbo, things ruin me. Meanwhile, we're just grabbing all the notes on the uh, base here. Gag, Bob. <laughs> Bob said I didn't want to grab those. The uh, wellies are back, at least. So we'll take those. Let's head on in. Oh, there's a worm. Mumbo busy. Sweep many leaves. No magic today. Oh, well. It would have been nice if you could have turned us into a bee. And for some reason, this is the torch that's now out. Some notes up here as well as another Mumbo. Oh, no. We didn't get a Mumbo token. That's just here because we're in Mumbo's hut. Mumbo's skull. Alright. Well, fair enough. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Behind you? No. Okay. You're not being sneaky, my boy. Alright. No worries. We'll see you in the winter. <laughs> Because clearly we're not having much luck. Maybe we'll become a walrus again. Who knows? Well, I didn't make that jump. That's annoying. Uh, I'm going to have to go around. Actually, is there anything in the brambles? Other than eggs, it doesn't look like it. Best to check before I just continue to wade my way out. Oh, I need this. Right, we've got some more notes to the left of... Uh, Mumbo's on the tree here. Back to, you know, where we got those three in that snare. Just got to time this well. I did not time that well. I didn't even grab the note. There we are, got him. Still didn't grab the note, though. 
Actually, I could use that health. Wait, do I need that health? Oh, wait. wow, I actually went under the water. Let's go grab that real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this so bad? It's because I'm stuck. The camera's stuck in the corner. Oh, I don't even know if I need that or not. Because it fills it in before it even gets onto the screen, because it's the last, well, honeycomb on the list, so. Anyway, I need to get back up, so let's just do this. There we are, back on track. Let's go grab the rest of these notes at the base, and then we can start climbing up the tree once again. No. Why did you just do one chomp there? You threw me off. Threw off my groove. That's a honey hive. Don't need to go that way, actually. Unless I want to tango with another bird chompy dude. This is like the third type of wall chompy dudes that we've had. And obviously, these ones are the most lethal. Not the monster ones. Not the undead monster ones. Which you would think would do even more damage than just the birds. But nope, these birds really do the damage. Right, now I need to... Actually, I think the way to get up is back this way. <laughs> I was running back on myself, but I was just like, hang on a minute. I'm going the wrong way. This is the slope I wanted, but I didn't grab the notes out of this guy because I thought we could transform, but we can't. So, uh, more gold feathers need to be spent. I can't even get inside. That is legit the only way to grab those. And I'm incredibly low on gold feathers right now, so I really need to find some. Unfortunately, by the time I already grabbed or had maximum, there was plenty around, but now we're not in those seasons. Let's platform very precariously across here to get this mumbo token. Oh my god, that's a tiny shock pad. Precision much? Do we even need to go up this way? No. Can we even get up this way? Oh my god, I almost slipped. I mean, if we fall, we'll go up the normal way anyway, but hey ho. Peck him. Problem is, that's now on the pad. I don't exactly need it. Can I get away with that? I can! We gotta go to the uh, right there a little bit. There we go. So this is still a valid way on climbing up. I just wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> so about the camera a little. Oh god, that's probably gonna mess up with my camera. Ah! There we go. Let's bounce. There's another mumbo token up there, but we have kind of skipped a part of the. Uh... Oh no. I overshot. It's fine. We'll have to go back round anyway. We'll go up the normal way. If I did make that jump, it would have been up there, but we've got to get up there anyway, so let me get back to the slope and start climbing again. Alright, back at the branches, there's another worm that we need. There's also a... Oh my god, these things are huge. Alright, 9 out of 10. There's also a mumbo token, so we've got to get that, but I would really like to have that uh, gold feather, because we've got, like, none left. We've got, like, three. Well, I think we've only got about two more Mumbo Tokens left to get until we have everything in this segment of the level. Version of the level, shall I say. Jump around you. Please don't hurt me. Thank you. Okay, I thought his pet was kind of span around. Right, it's a bit thicker here. This is really risky just for a gold feather, but I really need them. <laughs> and of course, they're not going to be kind. I mean, to be fair, they always stick the golden feathers in the most dickish of places, but that's because, you know, you're basically trading potential health and aggro for invincibility. So it kind of makes sense. Alright, that was clean. I didn't even need to cut that out. You can get out of the way, my boy. Alright, we're back at the beehive. Can we get back in here again? Oh, there's a worm on top. Don't really need that, but let's pay a visit. Aha! Hello. We have ten now. Oh, there's one in here as well. Nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. Well, there was a caterpillar in here, as well as a couple of notes, so we need to pay a visit anyway. But, apparently they're moving for the winter, so... That's perfectly fine for us. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, okay, that one you can kind of walk on. <laughs> Didn't realise that sticked out a little, I thought it was just one big block. Which might make sense in the N64 days. I got stuck on the edge again. We get stuck trying to backflip out there. There we are. We're now back up here again. This is where we would have made it if I didn't fall. There's an extra life in you, but I'm at max. I don't think I'm going to risk my life for it. 
And again, I have grabbed every single life that... No, I don't have the, the, the golden feathers. I was about to say, I've grabbed all of them so far. I might as well grab it. But one, they regenerate if you die anyway. So you can always get a surplus of lives even if you die. So that's not a problem. Plus, I'm over the maximum of nine as well. And I don't have the golden feathers to make the trade-off. And if he jumps me, I'm going to fall. And I don't want that aggro. Also, this area is now completely built. The honey hive has been moved in, and if you didn't grab the jiggy before, I believe it should be in there now, but not the one up. It said it's moved out here. Well, of course, they don't share collection IDs, they're just kind of moved. We'll make our way up there, so let's jump down here. Safest way. Grab another caterpillar. We have 12 now. Also, this bridge is basically almost complete, except for this little jump. And the dragonfly. That's that's the scary part. <laughs> he could knock you off. Oh, what's going on here? Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? I guess because he ate them all and got carried away, he's now worried he won't survive the winter. Understandable, but why do I have to sort your glutton out? Also, this bridge wasn't here before! That is cheeky game! Why would you make the backflip do that on a precarious platform like that? Wow, I salvaged that. But that was spoopy. But yeah, we weren't able to get in here at all before, even if it was even there. Because we can't do anything as a bee. And the bridge wasn't here during summer. But now it's completely built. I'm guessing uh, the squirrel's been busy. Speaking of, there's a nut in here. Acorn. I just somehow suaveed around. It's kind of awkward. Actually, can you do the uh, sharp turns while swimming? With the, uh... Oh, you can! Like what you can with sw with uh, flying, you can do sharp turns. I just wanted to check the fourth wall there, just in case. Oh, that was literally it. Fair enough. Alright, so at least that's one acorn so far. Should be around about six around here. There's one on that platform down there. We'll go for that in a bit. Oh, okay, you know what? We'll just toss that at you then. Hmm, Nabnut hasn't got enough acorns yet. Keep looking. Oh, that's what we'll do. So we need six, we've already tossed one in. Actually, it's not even hopping on anything. Oh, I don't like that one bit. I really don't like that. You want me to jump for that? Nah, man. I think I might have to be the last one I grab. Uh, I think what they want you to do is land below. I missed it! I missed it! Drop shadow! Thank you! Saved my life. Ah. You know, I've said it before, Hat in Time's like a uh, 3D click uh, from platformer. In a similar vein to um, Mario 64, actually. But the thing is with that is that the drop shadow isn't very clear, even with like all the shadow settings as pristine as you can like get them. The drop shadow is just very faint. This is why you need drop shadows. So now I've got to do this precarious jump again. Just to get this nut. I keep saying nut, it's an acorn. I mean, I guess an acorn is a nut. I mean, I guess if you jumped in this direction, you would land along... You'd be going in the direction of the bridge, so that would be a lot better. I guess that would be a lot better. Let's toss these at you. We need one more, though. Yep, that hasn't got enough acorns yet. Keep looking. Do you have any in your house that you forgot about? I mean, it'll be pretty odd that I'll be going into his house. Oh, hello there, worm. He's a little caterpillar worm. Oh, yep, he did forget about one up here. I, I was about to say, it's kind of weird that we'd have to go into his house to give him something when it's in his house, so he would already have it. How am I not making that jump? But, again, he might have forgot about it, so just by getting it for him, he knows that he has it. I ran behind it, are you kidding me? Something that big and 3D, mind you, and I'm just running right past it. But there we are. Mate, there's your last nut. You forgot it on your top shelf. Yippee, that's all the acorns I need. Here, take this. That landed right on me. I'll see you in spring. It looked like he almost soft locked there by trying to move again because he bounced into me, but <laughs> thankfully that pushed me, pushed me out of the way so he could go in. Oh, he's ground them up again. Uh, don't go stupid this time, matey boy. Winter's literally within the next three months. So, 
Uh, that's this little segment done. It was all encapsulated in that one spot in front of his house. So let's get up further. Look at all these bits. I don't need to speed them up. Because you don't know if it's going to go tits up or something. Oh, there's the winter panel. Whack that! We have access to the final version of this level. Nicely done. Right. This should be where the... Uh... Yep, here's Airy. So let's go give him the wombs. Become a mighty eagle, you! And we gotta toss one at a time. And I did not cut that out. <laughs> you have to live it with me like the King Zora in Ocarina Time. Thank you, Bear. Airy soon be Big Bird. Must have sleep first. You always eat and then go to sleep. You don't really do much, do you? <laughs> nah. We'll see what the combination of all our efforts are next time. Oh, okay. There's still a worm here. <laughs> I've got full surplus. Don't think that matters anymore, though. And I've grabbed every single one I can find. Also, I just realised we never actually landed on the, uh, the plant to get that jig yet. But... Oh, I should have just dropped from the hive. Oh, you know what? We can make our way down... That'll be the best time to get that jiggy. Actually, there's a few more platforms here now, so it's not as precarious. They're now doubled up. There we are. We now have... <laughs> we now have five additional. Okay, I don't like this. Oh, I missed it. I missed it again. How did I miss that three times? What the hell? I've got no feathers now. But I do have all of the tokens. We can go in here yet again. Hello, Brambles. Oh, God. Not like you. Oh, wait. It's only three. I overshot a few times there. Yep. So what's in here now? Kept in diminishing returns. Oh, the, the one-up's back up there again. Well, I don't really need it. Oh, wow. I was about to egg. I was about to egg again. I kept sliding into him by crouching. It's fine. I can get the health in here. There we are. So, S Spring had two one-ups here. One on the floor, one up there where we just went. S Summer had it on this branch, and then it was just the one up top in Autumn. That's a little bit odd why the this place just has all the one-ups. I guess it's because if you do accidentally fall after getting all the way up here, you don't lose out on one-ups, but... I don't know. It's a bit weird, that. Anyway, uh, we are now available to head our way back down, because this is as high as we can go yet again. Uh, but what we need to do is get on that plant, as I mentioned. So I just want to get to a good spot. Yeah, this will do. There we go. That will negate full damage. I'm on the hive. Let's not jump in. I'm on a good angle, but I can't see. Okay, here we go. So... I just drop onto this little lip here. There we are. We're right on the tip of the plant. So if we just do this for assurance, land on the plant, and get the jiggy on the way down. And there we are. We have all the jiggies in this part of the level. Uh, do we have all the notes? Uh, 84, yes, because there's 16 left in, ev in every season other than autumn, so that would be the 16 that gets us to 100. We have all the Mumbo tokens. And we have all of the Jiggies, but we still don't have any empty honeycombs. Maybe they'll be in winter, because where else are we going to check? So, with that, guys, that is the end of Autumn of Click Clock Wood. In the next episode, we go into winter. See you guys then. Ah. Ah. Ah.